Well, after that, look at uh, contracts and how we can, uh, you know, have a homegrown establishment. Let's talk some politics, yeah? And as you can see in the background, we're talking about the NPP. They are hoping to break the eight, but it's all about the team they'll use to break the eight. Well, we have one of their hopefuls here, national organizer hopeful, Bright Esilfi Kumi. I asked him about, you know, this name. Uh, there are some who pronounce it this way, that way. He says his is Esilfi. Esilfi, yeah. Esilfi. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, we got, yes. Yeah. Good to have you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks. All right. So let, let, let's start briefly uh, with, before we get into your politics and what yeah. you're hoping to do yeah. with the MPP. Mm -hmm. What happened yesterday? The Arise, yes. uh, you know, Ghana demonstration. Well, what do you make of it, briefly? Uh, for me, I, I think that people have the right to express or maybe demonstrate in terms of uh, uh, what their needs might be or what they are pressing home to whoever is supposed to really listen to. But uh, uh, once it gets out of hand in terms of its organizational moves because there are certain people in who have different perception in terms of political motivation from an angle mm. so let's just create me when you say political you know uh, 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 whatever propaganda. you're suggesting the ndc <laughs> is that you're suggesting the NDC? No, yeah, yeah very i mean not only ndc there are stakeholders who are also interested in this is power struggle an mm. issue of trying to come to power let's make certain things look bad mm. from that angle so when the when i, the, I even just so opposed from the information minister well uh, not from the information minister but something suggests suggesting uh, that uh, people are trying to create instability it, yes, on our yes, platform. Yes, yes, yes. For me, that's You concur? I, you agree yeah, with that? Yeah, I agree with him to an extent. Mm. Now, uh, uh, not necessarily the idea of creating instability, but halfway through, that is the idea, based on some of the uh, comments and uh, placards that they were using and all that. Uh, 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 for me, I feel some of these things should be done properly, so that once you are going through the process, you are able to make sure you press home your demand according to what you are looking for. But when things go this way, you are not able to achieve the, at least, the idea of even running the whole process. So for me, uh, uh, I am not against anybody demonstrating, uh, but of course it should be done by due process and of course with some kind of order. Mm. Some kind of uh, order. So as they demonstrate today, they are starting from LWAC. What, what, what would you be looking forward to seeing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm yesterday what we saw was, yeah, yeah. was gut-wrenching, uh, both from the, the police and from the demonstrators. Yeah, yeah. I believe that uh, possibly uh, we learned from experience. I mean, yesterday, uh, uh, the hunter suffered and then the animal being chased also suffered. Who was the hunter? <laughs> who, was the, who was the hunter and who was the hunted? <laughs> So, so it simply means that today we are all learning a lesson, at least right. the, uh, there should be some order. I still repeat the issue of order. Once there is order, you are able to really get to whoever needs to listen and, and of course press home whatever I mean, you are trying to really achieve. Mm. I mean, we have done it before when NDC was in power. So uh, it's not as if it is a new thing and it is bad. No, it is not bad. I mean, we are in a, in a democratic environment and you can, I mean, express whatever you think is wrong. But I feel the order should be there, and the devoid of all these mentality of uh, uh, political motivation from an angle in terms of opponent strategy and all that. So it wouldn't help, yeah. Right. Let's talk about your politics, because that's essentially why we're here. But, uh, but when you look at the crop of leaders you have currently, yeah. your national chairman who is stepping aside, yes. Uh, you know, the vice chair pe uh, people, there's mm -hmm. um, Omari Wadia, the Omari first Wadia, vice yeah, among yeah. others. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Omari Wadia is going again. again. Then there are the new hopefuls for mm -hmm. the, the, the chairmanship's loss, yes. Musa yes. Superior, among others. Yes. When you look at the current crop of leaders, though, what do you make of them? And have they lived up to expectation? Uh, uh, for me, first of all, uh, people perform according to uh, what their capacities or whatever their potentials might, might grant them. We have limitation. Some are better than others. But uh, you see, this comes with an election in terms of selection. People have to give you the mandate to actually go and serve. If we were just doing appointment, we would have assessed certain individuals, knowing fully well they don't fit whatever position they have Square been given. Holes. Something like that. But of course, what is happening now is that certain people from an angle have to give mandate to other people, some being motivated by cash, money, money crassy and all that. And then, so sometimes... So, so you admit that there is money yeah, there filtering is money through crisis. the system. That's a, that that, that influences decisions. It has come decisions. to stay, yes. It has, it has come to stay. It's more or less an auction, not election. Oh, wow. <laughs> Virtually, we are running into an auction instead of election. 
because end of the day is the highest bidder. That, that's interesting. We're running into an auction, auction not, not election. an election. Yes. But what does that do to our demo democratic practice? No, no. I mean, it destroys the whole democratic process in terms of selecting your leaders. If you are selecting a leader and we are not looking at his, his, his competency, what he's able to really impact into his followers, and more to the point, I mean, how every season has what leader we bring. So the season calls for certain leaders based on what the trends are. But if you are not careful, because we have given mandate to certain people to select, uh, uh, it ends up that. The delegates. The idea, the delegates have developed an idea that if you go, I might not see you again. So let me collect it all. But there is one thing they should also know. When you go into it proper, certain people have given you the mandate from police station level as a constituency executive to represent their interest, making sure you also map out partnering other national executives to bring opportunities and other development to their area. Then you come, the reason why I said it's auction, you come to, into an auction and then you are told, how much is your vote? You say it's 5,000. Mm. Then we give you the 5,000, meaning that you are going to go hungry for four years, fasting. Muslims even fast for 30 days. <laughs> Muslims even fast for 30 days. But you are going to fast for four years because it's business. When I came to you, you said you were doing business with me. And then I bought that vote. I left. Why are you calling me, telling me you need opportunity for your son, placement and all that? Because I have had business with you and we have had exchange. Now, coming back to the issue of the national executives as to whether they have lived up to expectation. Personally, because we lost 32 seats. Mm. When we had the opportunity. The next loss. Yes, in, my in our 2020 election. Yes, the 2020 election makes me reduce the issue of saying that they have lived up to expectation. But my so in other words, they have not. Lived they have not. They have not. Simply because from head to toe, from chairman to the no, some of the them. Some of the, you see, the thing is a collective effort. Right. One man cannot do it all. Mm. Some of the executives, which I can't mention their name, might have might have done their bit in terms of making sure that if it's administration, if it's other stuff, they have done this. Now, when you look at our youth. <coughs> organizational structure. Now, Samir Uku has set a standard. And that standard, it is either you sustain it or improve upon it. So once you are not able to meet up that standard, people have that mindset in their mind. It's a picture in their mind of the expectation of Samir Uku working two times in opposition when resources were even limited. And then Nanabi also working whilst we are in power for only one term and saying he's moving to the next stage. We understand. But when you assess all of them, because of the seat we lost, for me, they have not lived after expectation. More to the point, there is apathy everywhere. <laughs> the thing is, you can't just uh, actually uh, see a snake and say it is what? Uh, a lizard. When you, when, you, when you have traveled to the grounds, in terms of, uh, I started from Yape Kosogu to Bolibamboy, Damango, Salaga South, Salaga North, coming to North, Karaga, Nanton, all the way to Chanapaga, to Sisala is to move Sisala from all those places down to a half for Bono East and everywhere. I'm coming from Water Region now. I can confidently tell you that if we are not able to change some of the leaders in terms of where we stand now. In Which of the leaders? Oh, for me, I feel that from the organizer, uh, uh, hold on, youth organizer perspective, the youth organizer is moving to organizer. We cannot re let somebody who has yeah, not been... But, but those who are still contesting, we, we know the chairmanship slot is a free-for-all. Yeah, free-for-all. Uh, Freddie Blay is not going Freddie Blay is not going. Uh, Samuel Oku is not going. So, 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 so take those out, but, but for the rest. Oh, for I the... I mean, someone yeah. like John Buedu. John Buedu, okay. Who is seeking to, you know, take this up again. And, and you have a Musa Superior and others wanting to go for that slot. Actually, yes. uh, the general secretaryship uh, yes. slot. For me, I feel in terms of experience, John Bodu is experience. Mm. In terms of experience, Musa Superior is experience. In terms of experience, when you take Kodia, at the secretary level, you could see that most of the guys contesting are competent in terms of uh, 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 delivering for us. Now, all, all I am leaving at that point is to make sure that delegates choose who they assess and know that can continue the job. For that side, I don't know who to actually say that. Uh, uh, this gentleman is good. Let, let, let's talk about this bit you say. Auctioning rather than electing. It, an it, auction rather than an election. election. Yeah. Are you seeing that in the MPP? I mean, I, I asked that question because through your, your, your uh, primaries, should I call yes. it that? Yeah. You know, from, from, from the, um, before the constituency. Uh, polling station. The polling station uh, executives to the constituency level, to the regional level. Uh, we've seen 
a whole lot happen. A whole lot and happen. people within your own party have suggested how money is thrown around and how sometimes you need a 10,000 CDs to buy a vote or 5,000 CDs and people are promising scholarships and, and vehicles and all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Have you come face to face with this auction instead of an election situation? Yeah, because I have contested for membership in the Sikumar of Imbrakwa. Right. I, I actually have also, I was part of the National Youth Organizer uh, Aspirants in 2018. Right. So when I stepped down for the NABI, uh, thinking he, he could do the job. Uh, thinking he could do the oh, job? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You thought Nanabi we'll, could do we'll the job? We'll come back to that. I mean... No, 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 no. Let, let, let's focus on that. And, and he's failed uh, during the job? Entirely. Failed. Entirely. He's failed entirely. Failed. The Nabi has failed. 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 Based on... See, we are only measuring based on previous uh, uh, performance by Sami Oku. So when you come to Nanabi, when we are in power, Sami Oku, Sami Oku's own was... A, a, a opposition. So you measure that with when we are in power and then your government is in power, the resources are there and everything. And more to the point, what we are facing now in terms of our youth. And then the views of our youth starting from the southern sector to the northern sector. Every member of our party will tell you confidently that our youth wing has failed. Because it is the youth that drives the whole party. And so once you are able to lose 32 seats, once the youth are not able to really have these opportunities going. You see, one thing I don't like is that a national executive come for a position without any plan of solving what actually is the current problems that we have. If you don't have any plan in terms of policy lines and how you intend to achieve it and how you intend to even sustain it, sustainability plan, then of course, it means that you are only telling them, vote for me, let me just lead you. And in four years, I'll come back again and tell you, vote for me again. We but, have- But this is, this is, this is, uh, it's curious. You're suggesting that your national leadership has no plan. That's what you're no, saying. No, I am saying that some of, some of them some of them, do not have spelled out plan. This is what I intend to do to solve this particular situation. Mm. Everything that is a policy comes to solve an existing problem. Mm. So if a policy does not direct to a problem or it does, it's not even relevant within that period of time, then it means that, of course, uh, I, I'm, the leader is only telling you that, vote for me. And then I'll just be leading you. So some of your leaders are like that. They're like that. You wouldn't see any plan. And those are the ones when who When Musa Superior came to you, I'm sure he spelled out some of the plans that he has for the party. Right, he did. Something new that he's bringing. When any of the guys come, they also have. But some don't. They just, they just talk generally. Just vote for me. You know I have been this before. So push me here. When I go, I'll do this. But I, I am only imploring on our executives and delegates who are coming that they should listen to all of us. Mm. You see, there is double in the detail. They, they should give all of you a fair chance. Thank you very much. Right. They should give a fair chance, not having that stereotype mind that I'm for this gentleman, so I'm not listening to that one. They should give everybody a hearing because... Is that a major hurdle you, will have, you feel you no, will have to I, go past? No, for me, for me, no, because they all know what I have done nationwide. I'm yeah. surprised you said yeah, you've not been hearing stuff like that. There may be... <laughs> so I know... Because I have not passed through your... I, I know you've contested for the MP slots and yeah. not been successful there. Yes. Yeah, and I've also, I mean, I mean, I mean, being a, a, a leader of a volunteer group in the party, that's just in every constituency. Mm. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be an executive to actually deliver. Mm. If you have that patriotic spirit, knowing that we have to sustain the party's strength mm. so that the future generation will come and meet an attractive party, mm. not necessarily a position to occupy, but to serve. The do, do you feel disgruntled? Uh, some of you have really served the party, like you were intimating to me right before we came on air. In manifold capacities, you have the, is it what, Mocha? Or? Yeah, Mocha, Mocha. Right. Movers for change. Movers, Movers for, for change, change. yes. Right. So you've done quite a lot in the past. It's just that you've never had a pivotal role. Yes. You, do you feel disgruntled that uh, he's never uh, giving uh, you a... Uh, indirectly, I'll say yes, I feel disgruntled. But because of my maturity in terms of what I have experienced, uh, leading a lot of organizations from local to international, going to about 47 countries, you have experienced that sometimes uh, it is the issue of timing. Mm. Uh, six o'clock is two times a day. I mean, somebody's always <laughs> in the morning, somebody's <laughs> always in the evening. But one way or the other, uh, I have been wasted one way or the other. I have You've been, been wasted. wasted. Yes, mm. I feel I have a. You, you've not been. They've not. I've not been you. used. Thank you very much. Because uh, with the experience I have had, in terms of leading the people with the policy line, in terms of solution to the problems that we have, that will bring victory to all of us. Everybody knows that Bright is capable of doing A, B, C, D. But of course, not even assemblyman sweeper. At the end of the day, as a position that right occupy this, my interest is not about what I qualify because if you want to consider my capabilities, my competencies, and all that, it is something huge. But with your I, competencies, where do you feel you could have been used? Where I, you've not I, been used? I could have been used foreign ministry. I could have been used in any of these international diplomatic 
missions. Uh, could ambassador? Uh, it could be consul. ambassador. It could be ambassador. It could be consulate. I'm able to do that because I've had experience of about 20 years of international work. Why do you feel you've been overlooked? Is it the politics? I think that the issue of Godfather, God, Godfathership. Godfatherism. Uh, uh, you need my, to know someone. But you see, I believe that most of the Godfathers in our party have their strength and their weaknesses. So virtually, I tap something from the presidency. Uh, his, his, his style of communication in terms of content, policy, analysis, and all that. I might type something else from another person. But to say entirely this is a godfather who is taking me, once the godfather is down, you are also going down on, the, on, on that same day. Mm. So I felt that we have to really fight devoid of having some kind of fascinism here and there. I belong to this man, I belong to this man. That doesn't unify I mean, a party. In America, they have fashions. But once the elections are over, mm. they come together as a party to make sure that the country receives that which we have promised them from the economic perspective to every corner. Now, uh, 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 coming to the question of, uh, as to whether uh, uh, we are, we are uh, 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 you say you've, uh, uh, whether I'm disgruntled or not. Right. Um, it is not fair for all of you to fight for something. And the idea is not to tap into the benefits to also sustain that which we have been able to. But I to see from what you're suggesting, it's about what you could have brought to bear. Thank you. Right? What I could have brought to bear in terms of also holding an aspect of the whole system mm. so that we can all collectively achieve that which we have promised the people of this country. Mm. I felt I could have been used in so many things. Mm. Even communications, all these communication deputies and all that. There are so many ways, PR for whatever. The most important thing is to serve. The idea is so, to so serve. Some people have suggested in your party that even in terms of communications, you're not doing well, that you could have communicated better all the achievements. Yeah, I think that. that I was coming to that. And there is a solution, to, uh, solution through my policy. Mm. Now, our communication system has broken down. Your communication system as yeah. a party? Yeah, I feel, I feel that every time, uh, every time of office of, uh, what's the name, a party, there are situations and times and what happens. Now, there hasn't been any precedent in this country who actually ran the country in the midst of a pandemic, in the history of this country. When you are building a house for your family of 20, and of course, a sickness or a, a pandemic breaks out in terms of all your children are sick, would you continue to build a house? Mm. You are not going to build a house. You come and take care of the human resource capacity. That is part of building an economic, what's the name, of a country. But at the end of the day, all the human resource capacity was, everybody was scared of death. Pandemic has struck. Everybody is inside. People are scared. When I meet you, I can't even talk to you. That aspect of it, the president was able to run, and we achieved other stuff. Now, the problem here is that because the communication, our communication system has broken down, we are not able to propagate or trumpet the good things that we have been able to do in the midst of the pandemic to the people of this country. Whatever project that is going on in Accra is not known by somebody in Tamale. It's the same way whatever project going on in Western region. So by now, if a communication system was there or it was institutionalized, for us to manage it like a company, by now we'll be managing the communication and training some of our men because communicating in opposition is different from communicating in power. When, in, when you are in opposition, you can just say any comment without substantiation of claim. But when you are in power, you need technical know-how, you need content, you need communication skills to do that. So I was saying that because our communication is broken, there has been a propaganda from NDC saying that we have done nothing. And it's creeping into our people from the villages because they have also not seen what we have done based on proximity of where the information is and where they live in Hamlet. He doesn't know because NDC say they have done nothing. Mm. But we have done something somewhere that needs to be what? Sown to the whole country. Trumpeted. And, and Trumpeted. that is why the, 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 you, the new crop, must The new crop come. must right. come in because... Let, let, let's, let's, so I am feeling that mm. if I'm given the mandate, mm. I'm going to initiate MPP National Communication Institute. Mm. MPP National Communication, communication Institute. Right. It should be initiated for us to institutionalize our communication. The idea is to train all the articulate guys and the guys who communicate for us from the top to the village where there is an announcement center. Somebody must be trained in their own language to be projecting the government's good works. And some of the things, some of the reason why certain prices are going higher, because that guy in the village doesn't know what is called economic crisis. All they know is that I came out and my transportation is high. But when the institution is done, I am saying that we are not building a big house to bring all our members to come and train. We are going to have an office and decentralize the training. Meaning that trainers will go into the constituency, train them, and then give you an ID card as a clearance. 
giving you that you have the mandate to communicate for us because we have given you two weeks training in our ideology, constitution, policy, and then com communication skills. Once you are done, you need content to explain some of the things that people like you ask. Therefore, we are looking at how to create a portal for all the state institutions under our communication system. That is, when I'm here, because I'm, I've graduated from our institute, I have the username and the password. So if you ask me the technicalities of what double tracking system is, as to the free SHS, and all curriculum, explanation of certain things, and I, I am not an expert, I can use my username to just log in, and then that portal will tell me, so whatever I'm saying here is the same thing somebody is saying in Tamale or something of the sort. So in the same communication institute, we are going to really initiate allowances. At least people go to talk, some of our communicators, serial callers and all that, they need credit and all that. But if you have not institutionalized it, for us to manage everybody communicating for us in that way, anybody goes on air and say, I'm a member of the national communication team. Any manner of thing he says goes against So that, 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 that must be regularized, okay. so to speak. Yes. yes. All right. So, so uh, let's start with, I see you started telling us about some of the things you would do or hope to do or yes. ho hope to see happen, but why the national organizer uh, slot? I feel that I have done mobilization from beginning to now. More to the point, the movers for change I told you in MPP, right. uh, it is mobilization. I did nationwide mobilization. Every constituency, I, I financed it. I was at the forefront. We projected only one thing. I realized that in 2008, 2012, we lost the election out of complacency. We see a mammoth rally and we think it can be converted into vote. And then we all relax. So I feel we have won already. I don't have to go out. So I formed the Movers for Change for the party for only one prime goal, which is what? Massive voter turnout. How long have you had uh, Movers for Change? Uh, Movers for Change has been there from 2014. 2014. Because after 2012, we realized that. So Movers for Change is in every constituency. And what we do is massive voter turnout, mm. making sure we pull the last person to vote. Until the last person has voted, we have not won. So because that was our problem in 2008 and all that. Mm. Now, mobilizing people nationwide with my resources, trying to talk out with them. When you talk about organization, it is by touching levels with all, touching base with all the levels of our party. It is about the kind of a, 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 a recruitment drive that you do. It's about training, building the capacity of people in terms of new dynamics and changes. It's about organizing resources to beef up all the things that you are trying to do. It is about organizing with opportunities. That's what we don't have in the Constitution. Organizing opportunities by right. lobbying certain things, right. certain institutions, for some of the followers and the, and the people to also benefit from it in that regard. So I feel that I have the skill from 1996. We have been able to move the party from... I, I was part of the team that brought Honorable Kwame Nabatos from Swedru to Ablik Manoff. I was 19 years then. And then with all these elders, we have been able to work tirelessly. And then I've also had international experience of working for Junior Chamber International, where we mobilize young people, build their capacities. It is a worldwide federation for young entrepreneurs and leaders. So we have been trained in that regard. And the party folks, grassroots, I have been to every constituency. As I speak to you now, I have not been given portfolio, but we have done a lot in terms of mobilizing opportunities for our youth, going to see you, was giving them, granting them jobs, mobilizing and running rallies with the volunteer groups all over. Because you don't have to necessarily assume any position before you can do your job. You need to make sure that you are also complementing the effort of national executives and the government in your own small way from that angle. But we have gone nationwide, work tirelessly. The party members know that Bright is able to do the job because I have done it with that portfolio. So you have roots in the party, but yes. what makes you stand out? You're not going uncontested. It's a, it's uh, a hot uh, position. Uh, uh, what makes me stand out is the fact that the season that we are in requires a person like me, with my experience. The party has a standard branch. You need to understand the dynamics of the standard branch. They feel disconnected. And so, like in the United States, yes. you were one of those. What yeah. role did you play in the Communications United director. Right. You see, so it simply means that they feel disconnected. The diaspora and the China, the, the, the Germans and all that. Some also contributed immensely for us to actually win the elections in 2016. Now, some were given appointment because they are executives and they came down. But if you want to go critically into it, the, the, the multitude of people who are members of the party feel they are not seeing anything because those who were given the mandate or any position were supposed to also connect with them in terms of some of them even just want national service posting for their nephew, they can, mm -hmm. because we don't have database system to track all our members who contributed and those. And that is why Bright Sophie 
It's outstanding because we are initiating a database system for the party. Okay. The party, as I speak to you now, has only the names of people. Let me ask you an interesting question. If you were to lose, would you still go ahead with these things you're saying? Because I have lost before. I have, uh, I have lost before and I'm still going. My final point uh, for you, Uosika. Uh, Uosika. Uosika. Uosika, but to be with me, Okay. And they're realistic. So, so I'm just because, I, that, I, because that playfully, from the standpoint of what you yourself say, yeah, yeah. auction versus election. People yes. will also have, come into their own money. resources. So, how much have you spent? How much are you hoping to spend? And finally, can the MPP break the eight? Now, uh, uh, I have spent a lot. And I'm willing about to... About how much? Oh, I mean, I mean, a lot. 500,000 CDs, <laughs> oh, 1 million that's CDs. that's too small. 5 million CDs. 5 million is gone. And five million CDs is gone. gone. So hey, uh, about twenty. What hey, what five million? No, I don't have any part of it. I don't have any part of it. I don't have any Hey, I'm a man, a fulfilled man. Okay. Uh, not, not, not because if party has not given me position, does it mean that I can't go ahead with my business ideas? But spending, I'm an five, million, I'm an spending five million within a party for a national organizer slot. No, I because mean, of why, that. Why would you do that? Activities that you are running, you virtually have to go. You get to some places. The party office is not in good shape. You need to set an example. Virtually, okay, take this one. Let's do some renovations. It is out of patriotism. It is out of charity. In terms of making sure that the party is sustained, not for my position, okay. but. It just to make sure that we also complement government efforts. Can the MPP break the eight? We can break the eight only if we change some of the executives, mm -hmm. because you cannot make Looking promises. At the economic turmoil and the, uh, the situation. Oh, with, with the, the with the, with the, with the economy, break the eight. We can still break the eight if our communication systems come back. All right. Because we need to communicate some of the things we are doing and why certain things are happening. Mm -hmm. Now I'm telling you, if today we should put a documentary of all the projects that government has done on TV, in languages and everything. That can even tone down some of the apathy a bit. Now, going forward, if we are able to also, we have two years to go. Luckily enough, on the 16th, once they have given me the mandate, we have two years ahead of us. Right. And that two years ahead of us, we are simply going to make sure we use it to fix. So once we are done and they have voted for me, the next thing we are doing is called healing tour. I am doing a healing tour, both external branches and local. The idea is to go and plead with certain people who are bitter out of the imposition of MPs and other stuff that we did that actually, uh, I mean, brought about the skirt and blouse system in the party, making the communication team break down, not telling people what the government is doing. I feel that once we have been given the mandate, we have to do a healing tour to tone all of them down, to make sure that the party members come together, begging them that we are a human institution. Sometimes expectations might not be met, but it is essential we keep fighting okay. because there is hope so that we can make MPP bright again. So I believe... I, I, I like that end. So we can make the MPP, MPP bright, bright again. again. Yeah, make MPP all bright right. again. It's my slogan. That's your slogan. Yeah. Right. A selfie. Uh, Kumi, he's a national organizer, hopeful. It's been, it's been interesting. Yeah, it's you. been interesting having you in the studio. And we wish you the very best. Thank you. Thank All you. right. So that's Bright uh, gunning for the national organizer uh, position uh, in the MPP. We're taking a bit of a breather, but when we return, you know, today the Arise Ghana uh, demonstration continues, but this time from the Elwak uh, Stadium. We'll bring you footage uh, from there. Live uh, footage from Elwak, as you can see in your uh, shot. We'll bring you more of that right after this break. Do stay.